best blackberries are right at the very top. That's why I've brought the ladder. Um, don't lean too far over, Mummy Pig. Don't worry. I've been climbing this blackberry bush since I was a little girl. Yes, but you're not a little girl now. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, dear. Mummy Pig has fallen into the blackberry bush. Mummy, can you get out? Uh, no. I'm stuck. You're stuck in a thorny bush like Sleeping Beauty. What? Once upon a time, there was a princess called Sleeping Beauty. One day, she fell asleep in a thorny bush and she stayed there for a hundred years. Yes, that's a nice story, Pepper. It is Susie Sheep. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Hello, Susie. My mummy is in a blackberry bush and she'll be there for a hundred years. Like Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> and she'll be rescued by a handsome prince who will give her a kiss. <laughs> my mummy is having an adventure. I wish my mummy would have adventures like that. Um... Can someone think of a way to get me out of here? Don't worry, Mummy. In a hundred years, a handsome prince will rescue you. I'll be that handsome prince. Grandpa Pig, may I borrow your pruning shears, please? Of course you may, brave Sir Daddy Pig. Stand back, everyone. Take that, you thorny bush, you. My prince. My princess. Mwah! You were meant to stay in there for a hundred years. That was quite long enough, thank you. <laughs> Mummy is a blackberry bush. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this sort of thing only happened to me. Stand still while we pick you. <laughs> cheese! Cheese! <laughs> yum, yum. George loves cheese. <laughs> I've got a very smelly cheese here. Uh, maybe Daddy Pig uh, should give it a sniff. <laughs> the smell of the cheese has knocked Daddy Pig off his feet. Wow, that's what I call a strong cheese. Good, isn't it? Mmm, yum, yum. George likes smelly cheese. <laughs> May we buy that one, please? Of course. Thank you. Fish, nice fresh fish. Can we buy some fish, please? Okay, I've got trout, addock, mackerel, or squid. What would you like? They all look good. How about I give you some of each? Then you can make a lovely fish pie. Fish pie, yummy. There you go. Thank you very much. Fish, apples, cheese. Here is Mr. Fox's store. Bananas, flower yeah. tools, handbags. I'm selling anything, really. What do you want? Nothing, thank you. We've bought everything we need. Apples, cheese and fish. Oh, why didn't you come to me first? I've got all of that. Do you sell apples? You've never seen apples like these. They're made of wood. Wooden apples? Brilliant, aren't they? They'll last forever. What else did you buy? Cheese. Cheese? Oh, I've got all kinds of cheese here. They don't smell of much. It's because they are plastic. Made of plastic? Yes, guaranteed to last you a lifetime. Buy one, get four free. No, thank you, Mr Fox. You bought a fish too, didn't you? I could have sold you a better fish. No plastic fish, thank you. This isn't plastic. Well, actually it is. But this is an amazing toy fish. Look, it sings. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. What's all this noise? Whoa! Help! Oh! Oh! <laughs> what on earth is going on? What a lot of noise! And look at all this mess on the floor. Someone could trip over and hurt themselves. Someone did trip over and hurt themselves. Oh, dear. Poor Daddy Pig. <coughs> Come on, children. Let's do a bit of tidying up. But, Mummy, we're playing dollies and dinosaurs. You can play again when you've tidied up. 
but it's all George's mess. Is it really? So this must be one of George's lovely dresses. <gasps> no. <laughs> or maybe some of the mess is mine. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'll help George tidy, and Mummy Pig can help Peppa. We can have a race. Girls against boys. Good idea. Let's see who can tidy up first. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> We're winning! No, you're not! <laughs> there. Oh, what's this? Teddy, I've been looking for you. Quick, Pepper, put Teddy in your toy basket. <laughs> there. Now these books. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have here? Dinosaur! That's right! It's a dinosaur book. It's George's pop-up dinosaur book. <laughs> <laughs> this is a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> <laughs> That's right! Oh! This is a Brontosaurus. Brontosaurus. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Help! Help! Daddy! There's a spider in my bedroom. Oh, oh don't worry, Pepper. Please, Daddy, take it away. <laughs> no need to panic. Hello, George. Have you seen the spider? It's too scary. Take it away. There's no need to be afraid, Pepper. Spiders are very, very small and they can't hurt you. But don't worry. Daddy will take it out of the bedroom. <coughs> Whoa! He's quite big, isn't he? Um, I'll just fetch Mummy Pig. Mummy Pig! Hello, Mr. Skinny Legs. Pepper feels a little bit braver. He likes being in my doll's house. Hello, children. I hear you found a little spider. I'll take him out of the bedroom so you two can play. Mummy, his name is Mr. Skinny Legs. Ah! Mr. Skinny Legs is big, isn't he? <laughs> Pepper and George like the spider. <laughs> Night, night. George is putting the spider to bed. No, George. He wants some tea. He doesn't want to be in bed. <coughs> Are you hungry, Mr Skinny Legs? Would you like some cake? Pepper isn't afraid of the spider anymore. Mummy, Daddy, sit down. We are all going to have tea with Mr. Skinny Legs. Who wants tea? Me, please. Me, please. <laughs> Delicious. Pepper loves playing tea parties. <laughs> Here's your tea, Mr. Skinny Legs. What's that? You want to say hello to my daddy? Hello, Mr. Daddy Pig. Hey, uh, that's all right, Pepper. <laughs> Let Mr. Skinny Legs drink his tea. You're not scared, are you, Daddy? Oh, no. Of course not. Well, <laughs> not so close. <laughs> Whoa! <gasps> <laughs> Hello, children. If you want a story about a pirate, say, Aha! Aha! Good. Once upon a time, there was a pirate. He found a desert island and he dug up some buried treasure. The end. <gasps> what an adventure! That story makes me miss the sea. I must set sail at once and find that desert island. Captain Dog loves the sea. It's just the story, Daddy. You don't need to set sail. Oh, yes. No need for me to set sail ever again. I like the children's festival. Yes, and not a drop of rain. We've been really lucky this year. Ho, oh, oh. ho! I told you it wouldn't be muddy. A little bit of mud would be nice. This way to the making things tent. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, 
Today, we're going to learn how to make something from the olden days. Who wants to make a basket? Hmm. Okie dokie. How about knitting an olden days hat? How about a dragon? Me! All the children are making dragons. <laughs> wow, those dragons are good. Almost like the real thing. Dragons are not real. They are mythical creatures. You're a bit of a clever clogs, aren't you? Actually, the correct term is child prodigy. <laughs> Making things was fun. And we've still got lots to see and do tomorrow. Tomorrow? Are we staying here tonight? We certainly are. Yes, I was hoping we could find a hotel nearby, but... I thought camping would be more fun. Yay! Camping! Great. <laughs> Would you like to cross the river? Yes, please! <laughs> oh, stop, Daddy Pig. There's no more room. Oh. Bye-bye, Daddy. Don't worry. I'll come straight back for you. Bye. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. If you see a crocodile, don't forget to scream. Ah! <laughs> Picnic spot. Everybody off! Thank you, Grumpy, Grumpy Rabbit. Rabbit! Daddy Pig is still waiting to get across the river. Hello, Mr Pig. Here are the wolf family. What are you doing here? We're having a picnic. Would you like to join us? Yes, please, Mr Pig. Ah, more passengers. Uh, women and children first. <laughs> Oh, stop! Uh, the boat is full. Oh. oh. I'll be straight back for you two. Bye-bye. Row, row, row your boat gently down the creek. If you see a big fat wolf, don't forget to shriek. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Hello, Wendy. We're joining your picnic. Oh, goody. But where's Daddy Pig? I left him. With Mr. Wolf. I'm getting a bit hungry. Don't worry, we've got the picnic. All aboard! Oh, stop, Mr. Wolf. Uh, there's not enough room for you. Oh, dear. I've got an idea. You wait here, Grumpy Rabbit, and we'll go over. All right, I could do with the rest. <laughs> Mr Wolf and Mr Pig are crossing the river together. I'm really hungry now. Hooray! We're here! Hello, Daddy. Where's the picnic? Oh, Grampy Rabbit is waiting with the picnic. I forgot the picnic! <laughs> you can't have a picnic without a picnic! Oh, oh you're right there. Uh, what about me, Grampy Rabbit? Uh, no room, Daddy Pig. I'll come back for you. <sighs> Don't worry. We won't go through any more tunnels. Good. We just have to cross this chasm. Whoa, that looks like quite a drop. Yes, it's wonderfully deep. I'll show you. See how long it takes this rock to hit the bottom. So, how do we get across? Did you hear anything about a ride of doom? Molly Mull said the ride of doom was the best bit. Uh, what exactly is this ride of doom? Nothing to be alarmed by. It's a zip wire ride over this chasm and down to the deepest part of the caves. Oh, goody! <laughs> it's really fun and, of course, completely safe. Wow! Uh, I'm not very good with heights. Is there another way to... Uh... See you on the other side! Wow! Wait for me! Uh, 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 if that isn't the craziest fun in the world, I don't know what is. <laughs> it was brilliant! Did you enjoy it, Daddy? Uh, yes. 
Here, at the deepest point of the caves, our tour comes to an end. Any questions? Uh, how do we get out? Oh, a good question. We take the lift. Here we are, back on the surface again. <sighs> Daylight. Welcome to the gift shop. Look, there's a picture of us on the Ride of Doom. <laughs> Daddy, you look funny. That will help you remember the Ride of Doom forever. Thank you very much. Mine would look better with some glitter on it. Please, can we have some glitter, Madam Gazelle? Glitter, 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 glitter. There are lots glitter, of other shiny glitter, things you can glitter. use. Not as good as glitter. Glitter, glitter, glitter. No, glitter gets everywhere. There is no getting rid of it once it comes out. It is a menace. But it's so special and magic. Please, can we have some glitter? Please. Oh, all right. But only if you all promise to be very... Very careful with it. We promise. Okay, I will unlock the glitter cabinet. Madame Gazelle keeps the glitter safely locked away. Now, children, you did promise to use this glitter very carefully. It is home time, and the parents have come to collect the children. Ah, glitter! Don't panic. Please remain calm. There was a glitter leak, but we have it under control now. <laughs> Today, the children have been making masks. Ooh. Oh, oh, I'm here to pick up Pepper and George, but I can't see them anywhere. I'm a pretty butterfly. <laughs> flutter, flutter, flutter. <laughs> Excuse me, Mrs. Butterfly. I'm looking for two little piggies. Do you know where I can find them? <laughs> Daddy, I tricked you. It's me. <gasps> Peppa, what a surprise. But where is George? <laughs> ah! <laughs> George, it's you. <laughs> I thought you were a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Madame Gazelle, I can't find Rebecca and Richard. Would you mind if I took these two carrots home instead? <laughs> Silly mummy, it's us! Ah, your turn to surf, guys. Thank you, but I'm quite happy to watch. Why don't you have a go, Mr Pig? Why not? It does look fun. Aw, the waves have gone. Too bad, Mr Pig. Looks like you've missed your chance to surf today. Oh, that's a shame. But it's just right for little George to go paddling in. <laughs> <laughs> I'll come with you, George. <laughs> no surfing, George, but you can sit on me instead. <laughs> George likes sitting on top of Daddy Pig. <laughs> Look at that wave coming! Crikey, it's a big one. Daddy, there's a big wave coming! Wave! wave. 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 What's that? Wave. 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 <laughs> I think they want us to wave, George. Cooey! <laughs> George is using Daddy Pig as a surfboard. <laughs> wow, George has got great balance. <laughs> Hooray! You're a natural surfer, George. Maybe you can teach me a few tricks. <laughs> George is the best. <laughs> I loved surfing, Mummy. Yes, what a fantastic holiday we're having. So, what's planned for tomorrow? Are you, uh, staying another day? I could stay here forever. Well, I do have to go to work tomorrow. They can come along too. OK. Well, I suppose that might be great. <laughs> Pepper is having a lovely long holiday with Kylie Kangaroo. Allow me to show you, Mr Pig. Are you ready? One, two, three, throw! Throw! 
So, when does it come back? Ah. Keep a good lookout, kids. That boomerang could be anywhere. I think we might have found it. Hello. This is Mr Wallaby. He is the next-door neighbour. Uh, hi, Mr Wallaby. I was, uh, just teaching these kids how to throw a boomerang. Sorry about your window. Well, there's no worries there, mate. What's a broken window between friends? <laughs> Mr Wallaby is a very nice neighbour. Don't let it happen again, though. Thanks. Like I was saying, to throw a boomerang, you need to throw it hard. What? Like this? That's it, Daddy! It's coming back! Here she comes! Here she comes! Catch it, Mr Pig! Ah, missed it! <gasps> oh, no! The boomerang has broken another window. Well, <laughs> I think we should be going. Well, you've still got some windows left. Hey, no! You can't leave until I've had a go. Let me show your mates how a boomerang should be thrown. Thanks, Mr Wallaby. Ah, uh, don't mention it. That's what neighbours are for. <laughs> now, the trick is you need to throw the boomerang more upright. Like this. Ooh. It's good. It's good. It's a good throw. Here it comes. It's good. It's looking... Oh, no! Someone catch it! Oh, dear. The boomerang has broken another window. So, um, we absolutely must be going now. Do you want any help mending your windows? Ah, uh, no worries, mate. That time it was my fault. Mr Wallaby really is a very nice neighbour. See you later. Bye-bye. See you later. <laughs> Oh, Grandpa Pig. Hello. Hello, old bean. Grandpa, that man just called you an old bean. Yes, Peppa. It's another way of saying old friend. Are they your friends, Grandpa? Oh, not really. We're just members of the same sailing club. Now, where did I leave my boat? What does your boat look like, Grandpa? It has a little red flag on top of the mast. Like that? Little flag. Ah, yes. Oh, dear. Grandpa Pig's sailing boat has sunk. I'm afraid we can't go sailing today, children. Oh. Here is Grampy Rabbit on his hovercraft. <laughs> what is that monstrosity? It's a sailing club. Hello! What a marvellous day for sailing. Hello. Grumpy Rabbits. Pepper, you look sad. What's the matter? We can't go sailing because our boat has sunk. Oh dear. Why don't you hop onto my hovercraft? Hooray! <laughs> I really don't think this is quite... Hold on to your hat! Ah! 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 Grumpy Rabbit's hovercraft can go on land and water. I built it myself! You'd never guess, would you? We don't need that bit. You can't drive this thing around here. You're not a member of the sailing club. Well, you're a member, aren't you? Yes, but... That's the... all right, then. <laughs> ah, nothing like a peaceful day sailing. The calmness of the water, the quietness of the... Oh, what's that horrible noise? Hello there! Lovely day for a sail! It's that monstrosity again! Is that Grandpa Pig? Uh, hello? <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's hot! Have you got any water? Too right! We all need water! Water is a precious thing in the outback, so don't... Ah, nice and cool! Waste it! You have to drink it, not splash it around. Ah. Uh. No worries. Let's cook up a good old-fashioned Australian picnic. Oh, sounds lovely. Should we collect wood for the campfire? You don't need wood when you've got gas. Mr Kangaroo has a gas barbecue. When we have a picnic, Mrs Duck always shows up. Ah, there's no chance of Mrs Duck showing up in the middle of a desert. Oh. 
It is a duck-billed platypus. Mrs. Duck-billed platypus always shows up when we have picnics. <laughs> <laughs> Food's ready. Corn on the cob for everyone. Hooray! Pepper likes corn on the cob. Everyone likes corn on the cob. I think it's time for a game. Sure thing. I've brought a cricket bat. Oh, do you play cricket in Australia? Do we play cricket? We're born playing cricket. Cricket! <laughs> How do you play it? You hit the ball with the bat. Ah! If we catch it, you're out. Ready, Dad? You're out, Dad. Ha-ha! <laughs> You'll go, Peppa. <laughs> Good shot, Peppa. <laughs> oh, dear. The ball has landed in the tree. It's the only tree for miles, and our ball gets stuck in it. <laughs> if I lift you up, Pepper, can you see the ball? Uh, a teddy bear is holding on to it. That's not a teddy bear, Pepper. That's a koala. Thanks, mate. That is the sweetest animal I've ever seen. But you are sweet too, Mrs. Duckbill Platypus. Need to cross the bridge to continue the tour. Stop! You can't cross! Look! There's a big ship! <laughs> it's going to bang into the bridge! <gasps> the bridge is lifting up! Wow! Tower Bridge lifts to let tall ships sail through. Good. Now the ship has passed, we can be on our way. Please lower the bridge. I'm sorry, Your Majesty, but there's another ship coming. This is really too much. We can't wait around all day. Hold tight, everyone. <laughs> the bus is balancing on the bridge. Now what do we do? Hang on a minute, lads. I've got a great idea. Everybody move to the front of the bus. OK! <laughs> Hooray! The Queen is good at driving buses. Are you enjoying your tour, children? Yes! yes. Open-top buses are the best. <laughs> Why aren't all buses open like this one? It is raining. Ah, yes. That's why all buses aren't open like this one. Children, open your umbrellas. It is very important to take an umbrella when you visit London. Let's stop Trafalgar Square. Oh dear, what a shame. Trafalgar Square is full of puddles. But we love puddles. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, have a splash, Your Majesty. It does look rather fun. And one is wearing one's boots. Whee! <laughs> the Queen loves jumping in London puddles. Everybody loves jumping in London puddles. Have we got a big box? Uh, no. Delivery for Daddy Pig. I don't remember ordering anything this large. Ah, it's just a new light bulb. Why do they use so much packaging for these things? Shall I take the box away for you? Oh, yes. Thank you. No, Daddy. We need that box. Look what I've got. Great. That's your castle almost done. Hooray! Hooray. It's not almost done. We have to stick things on, paint it, add the glitter. Glitter? Hello? Hello, can I speak to Pepper, please? Pepper, it's Susie Sheep. Hello, Susie. How's your school project going? I'm doing very well. More pointy, Mummy, and it needs to be taller. How is your castle going? It's quite hard work, but my Mummy and Daddy are helping a little tiny bit. Uh, what do you think of this tower, Pepper? Very good, but it still looks a bit cardboardy. Hmm. Maybe I can paint it. I need to get on with my work now, Susie. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye, Peppa. What do you think, Peppa? Wow, that looks just like a castle. Oh, we got there in the end. Hmm, it just needs one more thing. 
glitter. Oh, um, glitter would stop the castle looking real. And anyway, we've, um, completely run out of glitter. Pepper and her friends have brought their castles back to playgroup. Wow, a fairy palace. That must have been a bit tricky for you to make, Susie. No, it was easy. <laughs> My castle is made out of a cardboard box. It is a very fine castle. Thank you, Madame Gazelle. Pedro, did you not make a castle? I did, but it's too big to bring into school. Uh, we built it out of stone blocks. Actually, we're in a bit of a hurry. Hurry in here, hurry in there. Why are people always in a hurry? Granny Pig has a plane to catch. She's going on holiday. Holiday? I never have time to go on holiday. I'm too busy being in a hurry. Miss Rabbit, are you talking like a taxi driver again? Yes. The taxi has arrived at the airport. Bye bye, little ones. Bye bye, Granny. Bye bye. Pepper and George are waving Granny Pig goodbye. <laughs> Here is Mr. Wolf. Taxi. Hop in. Bye bye, Mr. Wolf. Pepper and George love waving goodbye. Bye bye. <laughs> Daddy, how are we getting home? In the taxi. Oh, it's gone. Been on holiday, have you? I'm actually very tired. Do you mind if we don't talk? Talk? Yes, people talk too much these days, don't they? Talk, 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 talk. And they say some people can talk for hours without taking a breath. My sister can talk. She can... Hello, taxi service. Hello, could you pick us up from the airport, please? The airport? Righty-ho. Stop! Hello, Mr. Bull. Are you mending the road? No, I'm supposed to be mending the airport. But my truck's broken down. I'm going to the airport. Hop in. Have you got any luggage? Just the sand. <laughs> Miss Rabbit's taxi is full of sand. Bye, boss. Hello, Hello boss. boss. Hello, lads. Here's the sand. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. <coughs> no problem. Take us home, please, Miss Rabbit. Righty-ho. There you are, my last taxi ride of the day. <laughs> now you can go home and have a rest. Ha! I should be so lucky. Sorry to catch you waiting. It's just another busy day for Miss Rabbit. Imagine I have lost this coin. I turn on the metal detector and swing it gently from side to side. I'm looking for it here. I'm looking for it there. But Grandpa, you put the coin here. I know, Pepper. I'm just pretending to look for it. Why don't you pretend to look for it here? Here, you say? Aha! I found something. It's a coin. Yes, Grandpa. It's the one you just put there. Yes, Peppa. And that's how you find things with a metal detector. Can we have a go? <laughs> of course. Let's find that lost key. <laughs> here. There. Here. We found something. No, oh, it's a nail. Oh. Keep looking. <laughs> Here, there, there's something else. A spoon. What's that doing here? <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> key, key. George wants to find the key. Oh, what is it, Grandpa? It's the key. Hooray! <laughs> now we can wind up Mr. Robot. No. George never wants to lose the key again. Don't worry, George. If the key falls out again, we can find it with my new metal detector. <laughs> oh! You found something really big. 
It's your old metal detector, Grandpa Pig. It was hidden in the long grass all the time. No. <laughs> Excellent. Now I have two metal detectors. When one gets lost, I can find it with the other. But what if they both get lost? Then I'll cut the grass. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, where is my phone? I must have put it down somewhere. Have you lost your phone, Madam Gazelle? Yes, I had it just now. Where can it be? Where did you last see it? If I knew that, Susie, I wouldn't be looking for it, would I? Why don't you always put things in the same place, Madam Gazelle? Then you will know where they are. Well, that is very good advice, Susie. But it is not always possible to put something down in the same place. Every time. We can help you find it. No, I think it is lost. Oh, what a mystery. Our daddy always says, keep your ears and eyes open. Yes? Well, if we keep our ears open and somebody calls your phone, then we will hear it ringing. And find my phone. Good idea. <laughs> Peggy and Pandora are very good at solving mysteries. So, who here has a phone? Madam Gazelle, we are little children. Little children do not have mobile phones. Oh, yes, of course. Hello. Hello! The parents have arrived to pick up the children. Good afternoon, mummies and daddies. Could I ask one of you to call my phone, please? I can ring you, Madam Gazelle, but is it not easier to talk to you? I have lost my phone. If you call it, we will hear it ringing. And then you will find your phone. I understand. Brilliant. Oh, it's in my handbag. It was in your handbag all the time. Yes. Sorry about that, everyone. What a clever idea to call your phone to find it. That was Piggy and Pandora's idea. What? You solved the case of the missing phone? Yes. That's my girls. Peggy and Pandora Panda <laughs> love solving mysteries. Oh, where is my phone? I must have put it down somewhere. Have you lost your phone, Madam Gazelle? Yes, I had it just now. Where can it be? Where did you last see it? If I knew that, Susie, I wouldn't be looking for it, would I? Why don't you always put things in the same place, Madam Gazelle? Then you will know where they are. Well, that is very good advice, Susie. But it is not always possible to put something down in the same place every time. We can help you find it. No, I think it is lost. Oh, what a mystery. Our daddy always says, keep your ears and eyes open. Yes? Well, if we keep our ears open and somebody calls your phone, then we will hear it ringing. And find my phone. Good idea. <laughs> Peggy and Pandora are very good at solving mysteries. So, who here has a phone? Madam Gazelle, we are little children. Little children do not have mobile phones. Oh, yes, of course. Hello. Hello! The parents have arrived to pick up the children. Good afternoon, mummies and daddies. Could I ask one of you to call my phone, please? I can ring you, Madam Gazelle, but is it not easier to talk to you? I have lost my phone. If you call it... We will hear it ringing. And then you will find your phone. I understand. Brilliant. Oh, it's in my handbag. It was in your handbag all the time. Yes. Sorry about that, everyone. What a clever idea to call your phone to find it. That was Piggy and Pandora's idea. What? You solved the case of the missing phone? Yes. That's my girls. Peggy and Pandora Panda <laughs> love solving mysteries. We must have washed these clothes a thousand times. Georgie's clothes have got holes in them. When you wash clothes a thousand times, they get holes in them. <laughs> 
I can see your bottom, George. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's time we got George some new clothes. Mummy Pig is taking Pepper and George to the clothes shop. Hello, Mummy Pig. Hello, Miss Rabbit. How can I help you? We need some new clothes for George, please. <laughs> well, you're in luck. This is a clothes shop. <laughs> First, we need to measure you. <laughs> now hold your arms out. George thinks you're going to tickle him. I promise I won't tickle you, George. Very good. What a big, strong boy you are. <laughs> you see, George, Miss Rabbit didn't tickle you, did she? No, but I will. <laughs> George loves being tickled. Right, let's find George some new clothes. How about this? It will keep you very warm. Ooh. If George would kindly go into the changing booth, please. George is wearing a big, thick, woolly jumper. You look cuddly, George. Hmm, <laughs> I don't think white is the best colour for puddle jumping. Hmm, this isn't white. It's every other colour but white. George, you look like a clown. No. George does not want to look like a clown. Hmm, too much colour. What about this, then? Now you look like a penguin. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's still not really George. Hmm. What about this then? Basically, it's what you had before. Oh, yes. <laughs> George, you look like you. Hello, Susie. I'm a bit sad. Me too. Are you still coming to play tomorrow? Yes, please. OK. See you tomorrow. <laughs> it is morning and Susie Sheep has come to play with Pepper. Race you to the next hill. <laughs> <laughs> I will really miss you, Susie. <laughs> And I'll miss you, Peppa. <laughs> I will even miss you bossing me about. What do you mean? You are the bossy one. No, I am not. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> we are both a bit bossy. <laughs> I'm so happy about this new job in a new country. I thought I'd be stuck here forever. So you said. <laughs> Are you ready to go, Susie? No, wait! I made you a going away card. Thank you, Peppa. And you can have this. It's my most favourite plastic crown because you are so special. And so you don't forget me and you must keep it forever. I will never forget you, Peppa. Don't go, Susie. Hello? Oh, I see. Right. They said I didn't get the new job. So you're not moving away? No. Are we staying here forever? Yes. Hooray! <laughs> I'm glad you're staying, Susie. Me too. Now you can give me my crown back. But you said I could keep the crown forever. I know. But you're not going away now. Oh, you can wear it when you come round. What about the card? You can keep the card. Thank you, Peppa. <laughs> Peppa and Susie are the best of friends. <laughs> Tickets, please. Here they are. Any bags? Yes, I'm afraid this one's a bit heavy. Don't worry, just pop it on the scales. <sighs> Anything valuable in it? No. Any more? Yes. <laughs> you can take those little bags on the plane with you. Just join the queue over there. This is the X-ray machine. What's this, Daddy? It's a machine that looks inside things. Ooh. Put your bags on here, please. Look, it's my bag with Teddy inside. Dinosaur. <laughs> that 
magic. This is the aeroplane that will take Peppa and her family on holiday. Aeroplane! Yeah! George loves aeroplanes. Welcome aboard. We hope you enjoy your flight with us today. Can I sit next to the window? <laughs> of course, Peppa. <laughs> yes, George, you can sit next to a window too. <laughs> This is Captain Emergency speaking. Is everybody ready? Yes, yes Captain, Captain Emergency. Emergency! Then let's go! <laughs> Look, Teddy, they're flying. What can you see out of the window, Pepper? It's all cloudy and rainy. That's because we're on top of the clouds. The plane is flying higher and higher. Oh, are we flying up to the sun? No, but we are going somewhere sunny. You just need a bit more practice, George. Watch me. Wow! Ah! Oops. I'll just get the ball back. Hello, Mummy Pig. Uh, can we have our ball back, please? Yes, but please play more carefully in future. Yes, Mummy Pig. Sorry, Mummy Pig. Here is Danny Dog. What are you doing? We're playing bat and ball. My daddy is very good at it. He batted the ball all the way into the house. Well, can I play bat and ball too? Uh, maybe it's time for a different garden game. Like what? Limbo! What's limbo when it's at home? I'll show you. I know. You jump over it. It's much too high to jump over. Ho, ho, ho. We go under the limbo pole and we need music to do it. <laughs> Daddy Pig is very good at limbo. Wow! Ah, but now we'll put the pole a bit lower. <laughs> OK. Oh! Daddy, your tummy is too big to go under the pole. My tummy is not too big. I just can't bend like I used to. <laughs> <laughs> My turn! And me! And me! <laughs> Well done, everyone. Now we'll put the pole even lower. Ooh! Easy, Daddy. <laughs> it's impossible. Nobody can go under that. <laughs> <laughs> wow! George can do it. Hooray! George is the best at limbo dancing because he is I'll just have a little sleep. Pedro mm. always takes his glasses off before he sleeps. <sighs> Let's creep up on Pedro. Yes! Danny, Pepper, Susie and Freddy are creeping up on Pedro. Boo! Oh! Ah! You were asleep. Uh... Yes. Sorry. You're lucky we're friendly pirates. <laughs> We've got treasure. That's nice. Let's put it in the treasure chest. Now we can bury it. Yes. yes. And I'll stay here and guard the pirate ship. OK, Pirate Pedro, but don't fall asleep this time. I won't. Hurrah! <sighs> The pirates are off to bury the treasure chest over a hill, round the little bush. Let's bury it here. How will we know where we've buried it? Let's make a treasure map. Over the hill, round the little bush, an X marks the spot. X marks the spot. Pedro has fallen asleep again. Ah! I'm awake! I'm awake! Pedro!
Pedro, don't you wear glasses? Uh, hello. Mummy Pony has come to collect Pedro. Who goes there? I'm your mummy, Pedro. Pedro cannot see very well without his glasses. Where are your glasses? Um, I don't know, Mummy. When did you last have them? When we put the treasure into the treasure chest. What treasure chest? The one we buried in the garden. Pedro's glasses are buried in the garden. Oh, dear. How are we going to find them now? We've got a treasure map. Mummy Pony is using Peppa's map to find the buried treasure. Over the hill, round the little bush, an X marks the spot. They have found the treasure. My glasses! Hurrah! <laughs> George wants to ride on the potato rocket, too. Are you sure, George? It looks a bit high. Daddy Pig doesn't like heights. Moo! Hurry up, Daddy Pig! Oh, I'm not getting on. George is too small to go on his own. Oh, OK. Make it quick. Oh, it's very quick. <laughs> George has changed his mind. Oh, dear George. Come to Mummy. Maybe I'll just get off too. George, away! Have fun, Daddy Pig. Uh... Oh, it's stopped. Well, I'm glad that's all over. Uh, yes. Lots of fun. Mummy, what's that? Go round and put your head through that hole. Now what happens? <laughs> <laughs> Susie, you're a tomato. Look, I'm a carrot. Oh, yes. And I'm a pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the dinosaur garden. Ooh. Say hello to my dinosaur friends. Uh, don't be frightened. They are not real. But this is exactly how they would have looked walking the earth together. No, it's not. What? Triceratops lived in the Cretaceous period. The Stegosaurus was Jurassic. They would not have walked together. How do you know that? I'm a clever clogs. Anyway, who wants to ride one? Me, me. Why have you got dinosaurs in Potato City? Uh, because dinosaurs ate potatoes? No. Anyway, children like dinosaurs. Dinosaur. George does not want a new dinosaur. Look, George, a big dinosaur. <gasps> dinosaur. <laughs> Good morning. Can I help you? We'd like the dinosaur in the window, please. Certainly. Good choice. This is the dino roar. It roars, it walks, and it sings a dinosaur song. Dino roar, dino roar, listen to the dino roar. Roar! Wow. wow! Dino Roar! <laughs> we'll take it. <laughs> roar! <laughs> George is playing with Dino Roar in the garden. Don't play too roughly with Dino Roar, George. He has moving parts and might get broken. George cannot play with Dino Roar in the garden. George wants to play with Dino Roar in the bath. George, if you get Dino Roar wet, he'll stop working. George cannot play with Dino Roar in the bath. It is night time. George has taken Dino Roar to bed with him. Roar! <gasps> George! Dino Roar, Dino Dino Roar has woken me up! Dino Roar. Maybe Dino Roar should sleep Dino Roar somewhere else. George cannot have Dino Roar in his bed at night. It is morning. Why is George looking so sad? George cannot play with Dino Roar in the garden, in the bath, 
or in bed. Never mind, George. Dino Roar can still roar. Dino Roar, Dino Roar, listen to the Dino Roar. Yeah. Oh. I think the batteries must have run out, Daddy Pig. Already? How many batteries are in here? Hundreds and thousands. Dino Roar needs lots of batteries to make him roar. Can we find a little place for this? Uh, no. What is it, Granny? It's a plastic gnome, Pepper. And he's going to live in our garden. Oh, no, he isn't. There's no room. There's plenty of room. What about here? I can't have that ugly thing looking at me all day. Pepper, George, do you think my gnome looks ugly? No, Granny. I think he looks cute. <laughs> There, Grandpa. You're outnumbered. The gnome stays. Ah! And here come the rest of them. What? Mr Bull is bringing Mr Gnome a truckload of new friends. Yippee! But gardens are for plants, not plastic. Moo! Where do you want the gnomes? We don't want gnomes, thank you. Oh! Goodbye. No! Naughty Grandpa Pig. Those are Granny Pig's gnomes. Oh, it appears we do want gnomes. Okie dokie! They're lovely! There's this as well. Cheerio! Thank you, Mr. Ball. Goodbye. Bye bye. What's this? A giant gnome? No, Grandpa. It's a well. What is a well? A well, Pepper, is a very deep hole with water in it. Ooh. And as it happens, I do need water for my garden, so a well will be useful. But that is not a well. It's made of plastic and there's no hole. It's beautiful. What's the point of a well without water? It's a wishing well. You throw a coin into it and make a wish. Can I make a wish, Granny? Of course, Pepper. Here's a little coin. I wish, I wish, I wish. George, I'm learning to whistle. You make an O shape with your mouth and blow. Don't worry, George. It's almost impossible. Like wiggling your ears. George can wiggle his ears. <laughs> Whistling is harder. George can whistle. Oh. <laughs> What's wrong, Pepper? I can't whistle, but everybody else can. Never mind. I'm making cookies. Would you like to lick the spoon? No, thank you, Mummy. <coughs> can I ring Susie Sheep instead? OK, Pepper. <coughs> Hello, Mrs Pig. Hello, Mrs Sheep. Can Pepper talk to Susie, please? Hello, Susie. <coughs> Hello, Pepper. What are you doing? I'm learning to whistle, but I can't do it yet. Hmm, that sounds hard. It's impossible. Uh, can you whistle, Susie? No. <coughs> oh, good. I mean, that's sad if you can't whistle. But good, because I can't whistle. What's whistling anyway? You put your lips together and blow. Like this. <coughs> Hello, Peppa? The cookies are ready. Oh, goody! Cookies! <coughs> They'll be hot. You should blow on them first. Ooh, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you not want a cookie, Peppa? No, thank you, Mummy. I think I might go outside and be on my own for a little bit. <coughs> Can you whistle yet? It's no use, Daddy. I'm never going to whistle, ever. Have Let's see how much snow there is. Oh, where's Daddy gone? 
It's a walking snowman. I'm cold. <laughs> it's a walking, talking snowman. <laughs> oh, it's just Daddy. Poor Daddy. Let's warm you up a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Pig, Pepper, and George are warming Daddy Pig up by rubbing him with towels. That's better. Now we can go to the seaside. But what about the snow? I don't think the coach will be running today. Oh. Miss Rabbit's coach has arrived at Peppa's house. Goodness me! How did you get through all that snow? With my big snow plough. Snow ploughs push the snow out of the way. Hello, everyone. Hello, Peppa. All of Peppa's friends are going to the seaside, too. Next stop, the seaside. Hooray! Mr Bull and his friends are gritting the road. The grit melts the snow. Mr. Bull. Oh, hello, Miss Rabbit. It's taken us all night, but the road is clear all the way to the seaside. That's good. We're going to the seaside. Would you like to come along? No, thanks, Miss Rabbit. We've got more roads to grit. Goodbye, Mr. Bull. Bye. Have a lovely day at the beach. We're Side. The beach is covered in snow. See you later then, sister. Bye, sister. Whoops! Whoa! Miss Rabbit has tripped over one of Richard's toys. Oh, my ankle. I can still hop to work. Uh, no, uh, you oh, stay here and get better. But I've got so much work to do. I'll do your work for you. Which job is first? The supermarket. OK, Rebecca, look after your auntie. Yes, Mummy. <laughs> Mummy Rabbit has arrived at the supermarket. Thank goodness you're here, Miss Rabbit. Miss Rabbit is ill. I'll be doing her job today. Are you not Miss Rabbit? No, I'm her sister, Mummy Rabbit. Is this where I sit? Uh, yes. Have you ever worked a checkout before? No. How much is this? Oh, I don't know. I've got a voucher. Do you take book tokens? Can I pay with a card? Um... Susie Sheep is dressed up in her nurse's costume. Don't worry, I'm only a pretend nurse. Stick your tongue out and say, ah. Ah. Rebecca Rabbit's house. Who's speaking, please? It's Mummy Rabbit. Is everything OK? Yes. Good, because this job is going to take me all day. What about Miss Rabbit's other jobs? We'll need more help. <laughs> Uh, Miss Rabbit's ice cream stall. Daddy, why are you buying an ice cream? Oh, Peppa, I was on the way to the gym when I thought an ice cream would be nice. <laughs> Miss Rabbit is ill. You've got to sell the ice cream today. Oh, oh, I'm an expert at ice cream. Can I have a cherry ice cream? Uh, strawberry, vanilla, chocolate, banana. With pistachio and strawberry, please. Ah, strawberry. Oh, it's melted. How about ice cream soup instead? Careful you don't hit that big stick, Grandpa! That's a mooring post. I won't hit it. Oh. Grandpa, there's a big hole in your boat. It's just a scratch. Ooh, Grandpa's boat is sinking. Quick, Grandpa Pig, jump off! A captain never leaves his sinking ship. Grandpa Pig's boat has sunk to the bottom of the river. It is Grandad Dog. <laughs> Ahoy there, Grandpa Pig. Lovely day for a sail. Um, yes. Ahoy there. I'm taking my boat to the boatyard today. 
going to get a few repairs done. Uh, would you mind taking my boat to the boatyard too, please? Of course. Where is your boat? Um, I'm standing on it. Oh, ho, ho. has it sunk? Uh, well, a little bit. I'm surprised your boat didn't sink a long time ago. What? It's a better boat than that rust bucket of yours. <laughs> Grandad Dog and Grandpa Pig are very best friends. Catch this, Captain! Aye, aye, Skipper! <laughs> Grandad Dog's truck has lifted Grandpa Pig's boat out of the water. Wow! Next stop, the boatyard! What's a boatyard? A boatyard, Pepper, is where broken boats get mended. This is Grampy Rabbit's boatyard. Ahoy there, me hearties! Ahoy there, Grampy Rabbit! Ooh, who did that to your boat, Grandpa Pig? Um, someone drove it into a mooring post. It went crash and made a big hole there. You should never let other people steer your boat, Grandpa Pig. Uh, yes. Can you mend it? Of course. I just need to size up the damage. My secret mission is to get biscuits. Watch this. Susie Sheep is trying not to be seen. Mummy, can I have some biscuits for my friends, please? Of course. Here you are. Thank you, Mummy. Susie Sheep has returned with the biscuits. Hooray! Did anyone see you? No. Well, only a grown-up. Look out! Would you like some juice to go with your biscuits? What biscuits? The biscuits I just gave you for your friends. Oh, Susie! What's the matter? We're in a secret club doing secret things and Susie's told everyone. Oh, can I be in your secret club, please? Please, I've always wanted to be in a secret club. It's very hard to get into. You must say the secret word. Which is? Pick a needle noodle. Pick a needle noodle? That's it. You're in. What happens now? Look out. It's Daddy Pig. You talk to my daddy, but don't say anything about our secret club. Hello! Ah, there you are, Mummy Sheep. What's new? Uh, um, uh, uh, secret club. Oh, no! Ooh, I always wanted to be in a secret club. Can I join, please? You can't join, Daddy, because you are grown up. Uh, my mummy is grown up. Well, you have to know the magic word. Which is? Papa Deedle Doodle Dum. Papa Deedle Doodle Dum. You're in. What do I do now? Look out. It's Mummy Pig. Follow Mummy in secret. Daddy Pig. Ah, hello, Mummy Pig. What are you doing in that bush? Um, uh, secret club. Oh, I've. Who put that pipe there? I know. I'll take a shortcut. Mm, it's a bit muddy. Come on, car. Daddy Pig needs to get home. Daddy Pig is stuck. I'll ring for Grandad Dog's pickup truck. Hello! Breakdown recovery! I'm stuck in the mud. Can you come and rescue me, please? Sorry, Daddy Pig. I'm moving a big metal pipe that some maniac has left in the road. I'll pass you on to the next rescue service. Hello? Fire service? I'm stuck in the mud. Can you rescue me, please? Sorry, Daddy Pig. I'm rescuing a tortoise that stuck up a tree. Calm down, Tiddles. I don't know why you like climbing trees. You're a tortoise. 
<laughs> Don't worry, Daddy Pig. I'll pass you on to the highest rescue service in the land. What's that noise? Whoa! I'm flying! Miss Rabbit's helicopter has rescued Daddy Pig. Hooray! Lucky Daddy gets a helicopter ride after all. <laughs> Shall we show him what my helicopter can do? Yes! yes! It can go straight up. Whoa! It can go straight down. Whoa! It can even move the loop. Everyone likes going up and down and round and round in Miss Rabbit's helicopter. The show is about to begin. Um, Madam Gazelle, I need the toilet. Oh, Pedro. Sorry. Uh, sorry. Thank you. Quickly now, Pedro. I've never been to the theatre before. It's exciting, isn't it? Sorry. Uh, thank you. Shh, children. Everyone quiet now. What's that music? The show is starting. Oh, sorry, everyone. It is not the start of the show. It is Madame Gazelle's phone ringing. Wow! Whose phone is that? The show starting. Welcome to the Mr. Potato's Christmas Show, where the magic of vegetables never ends. Ooh. Hello, children. I am Mr. Potato. This is Mrs. Carrot. Here is Sweet Cranberry. And here is everyone's favorite Christmas vegetable, Little Sprout. <laughs> 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 where has Little Sprout gone? Little Sprout, where are you? He's lost. Oh. Can you help us find him, boys and girls? Yes! <laughs> if you see him, boys and girls, shout out, There's Little Sprout! There's Little Sprout! That's it. When you see him, shout like that. There he is! He's behind you! Where? There! Behind you! I can't see him. They're not very good at looking, are they? <laughs> there you are, you cheeky little sprout. I'm the magic fairy carrot. Is coming. We're not ready. Stop her, Pedro. OK. Hello, Pedro. You're early for playgroup? Yes. Don't go inside. Why not? It's a nice day out here, isn't it? Uh, yes, Pedro. Can I go inside now? Uh, no. It's against the law. What are you talking about, Pedro? We're ready. You could go in now. Surprise! For she's a Johnny Goodfellow, for she's a Johnny Goodfellow, for she's a Johnny Goodfellow, as you say all of us. Hooray! Here is a present for you, an antique clock. Ooh! It's made of solid plastic. Thank you. But why is there a party for me? Everyone wanted to thank you for being the best teacher in the world. So, we've made you a leaving party. Because you're going away forever. I'm not going away forever. But you said there was no more playgroup. Oh, Pepper. All I said was no playgroup next week. I'm going on holiday. Oh! oh. I will be teaching for many years to come. Who else could be the teacher? No one! I'm very happy Madame Gazelle is not leaving. Yes, and I can't think of a better reason for a party. And every party needs music. <gasps> oh, the rocking gazelles! Hello, Gigi. 
Have you still got your guitar? <laughs> of course. Let's rockety rock. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I wonder where Mr. Skinny Legs is. <laughs> oh, ho! Oh. It sounds like Mummy has found him. Don't be scared, Mummy. Get rid of it. OK. We'll take Mr. Skinny Legs into the garden. <laughs> <laughs> now Mr. Skinny Legs has got the whole garden to play in. Bye-bye, Mr. Skinny Legs. It is starting to rain. <laughs> Mr. Skinny Legs is running back to the house. Maybe he doesn't like the rain. He's climbing up the water spout. Incy wincy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and was poor Incy out. Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain. Incy wincy spider climbed up the spout again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want Mr. Skinny Legs in the house, Daddy Pig. Let's take Mr. Skinny Legs a bit further into the garden. There we are. A nice tree for you to live in. <laughs> what is he doing? He's making a web, Pepper. Spiders live in webs and use them to catch flies. Oh! He's very busy. Yes. It's hard work building a web. That's why you must never, ever break one. If you do, the spider has to do all the work again. Yes, Daddy. <laughs> bye bye, Mr. Skinny Legs. It is bedtime. I liked watching Mr. Skinny Legs make his web today. And tomorrow, he'll make another web. Really? Yes. Mr. Skinny Legs makes a new web every day. Where will the new web be, Daddy? I don't know. We'll find out tomorrow. Good night. Night, night. Why is Auntie Kate playing a trumpet? To get Alexander to sleep. The more noise, the better. Is there another way that doesn't use noise? We do find noise is the best way. When George was a baby, we used to put him in his pram and wheel him around the house. And that always sent him to sleep. How strange. No loud noises. That's right. How many times round the house was it, Mummy Pig? Three times? Fifty times. <sighs> Daddy Pig is pushing baby Alexander around the house. Fifty times. <sighs> Good. Baby Alexander is asleep. Can you let me back in? I'll just switch the alarm off. Switch the alarm back on. Peppa, what are you doing up? I can't sleep, Daddy. It's a noisy night. OK, Peppa. Let's get you back to bed. Now. Which bedroom are you staying in? Stop, Daddy! That's baby Alexander's room! Ah. <coughs> the light has woken baby Alexander. It's all right. I've got the vacuum cleaner. I've got the trumpet. Stop! Stop! I remember another quiet way we used to get George to sleep. Oh, yes! We drove him around in the car. I'll get the car started. Don't forget the Daddy Pig has set off the noisy house alarm. How are we going to find the right big tree? Oh, oh, oh it's usually me that walks into trees. Mummy Pig has found the big tree. Clever Mummy! <laughs> I knew it would still be here. This way, everybody. 
pond yet. Almost there. But I'm getting a bit hungry. Don't worry. There's a cafe on the way. Oh, lovely. I could do with a nice cup of coffee. Can George and I have ice creams, please? <laughs> of course. Ice creams for everyone. <laughs> the cafe should be just about here. Oh. Where's the cafe? Is it behind that rotten pile of wood? I think that rotten pile of wood is the cafe. Oh. Uh. There's not going to be any ice creams coming out of that today. Hello. What can I get you? Oh. A cup of coffee and three ice creams, please. Of course. Thank you. Mmm. Delicious. Next stop, the fish pond. This way. Oh, you don't want to go that way. That goes straight into a blackberry bush. Aha! It's the shortcut. It's the way I went when I was a boy. No, if you want to go to the fish pond, you need to go up that path. Well, I'm taking the shortcut. All right. Who wants to go through a blackberry bush? Me. And who wants to go on the path? Me. <laughs> Race you, Daddy! Ho, ho! I'll get there first. Bye! I hope the fish pond is still here. Yes, everything seems a bit different to what Daddy remembers. What's that? It's the fish pond. George, let's see the little fish. <laughs> oh, Daddy said that the fish were tiny. But they're ginormous! <laughs> It's been a long time since Daddy was here. The fish have got a lot bigger. Like Daddy's tummy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where is Daddy? Oh, he might be lost. I'd better ring him. There's a phone ringing in that bush. Hello, Mr Pig speaking. It's Daddy. Oh, <laughs> hello. I'm stuck. Hello, Daddy. Hang on. We'll pull you out. One, two, three, pull! <laughs> Daddy is a blackberry bush. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the fish pond. Let's see the little fish. <laughs> Whoa, that's a big fish. Oh, look. There's something glittering. They're coins. When I was little, we used to throw a coin in the pond and make a wish. Can we throw coins in? <laughs> of course. I wish the fish pond stays here forever. Oh, oh, that's what I wished for when I was a little piggy. And your wish came true, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> It looks a bit high. Whoa! Daddy Pig does not like heights. <laughs> <laughs> this is really fun. Oh, yes. Really fun. <laughs> in the air, in a chair. Snow is falling everywhere. Flying high, in a chair. Flying high and high and high. <laughs> The ski lift has reached the top of Snowy Mountain. <laughs> Daddy is a walking, talking snowman. <laughs> <laughs> skis! Skis! Get your skis here! Hello, Miss Rabbit. Skis for two grown-ups and two children, please. There you go. <laughs> Madame Gazelle is the ski teacher. <laughs> Madame Gazelle, will we ski all the way down the mountain? Ho, oh, oh, ho! Not today, Danny. I think for now we will stick to the baby slope. The children are learning to ski on a little slope. To start, push off slowly with your sticks. Whee! To stop, point your skis together. <laughs> Let's go back up and do it again. Whoa! Whoa! Walking up slopes on skis is not easy. Uh -huh. To go up the slope, 
You have to walk sideways like a crab. <laughs> Everyone is walking sideways like a crab. Madam Gazelle, can we see you ski now? Oh, I don't know. Please. Very well. Hoopla! That was amazing. Peppa likes playing with Twinkle Toes. Whoops! Perhaps you should play with the toy horse outside. Yes, Mummy. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, it's a bit steep here. Maybe you should play at the bottom of the hill. And the quickest way down the hill is to ride down. Are you sure, Daddy? Don't crash like you always do. Ho, ho! I know what I'm doing, Peppa. I'm a grown-up. Yeah! How are you going to stop, Daddy? Uh, I don't know. Ah. Where are the brakes? <laughs> Clever, Daddy. You use the duck pond to stop. What was that big splash? What big splash? Daddy Pig, did you know you've got a duck on your head? Oh, uh, yes. Well, I did fall in the pond. <laughs> horsey! Horsey! George wants to ride on the toy horse. Go! Go! Oh. George cannot make the horse go. If only there was someone big and strong to push George along. I'm big and strong. I can push George. What a good idea, Pepper. <laughs> horsey, horsey. George, she's called Twinkle Toes. Horsey. Twinkle Toes. Horsey. <laughs> I know. Because the present is for both of us, We'll call her Horsey Twinkle Toes. <laughs> Peppa and George love playing together with Horsey Twinkle Toes. I could tell a story. Make it scary. <laughs> it was a wet and windy night in the wild west. Ooh. And wild animals were out looking for food. Looking for food at night? Some animals eat at night, Susie. Wild animals. Brrr. And the brave cowboy Pedro was alone in his tent. But he couldn't sleep because something was outside the tent. <laughs> was it a wild animal? What's that? It's a wild animal! Ah! Oh! It is a tiny little bird. Come to look at Pedro's tent. I think it was an eagle. Eagles live in the Wild West. Is everybody all right? Yes, Mummy. It's nearly home time. But we haven't done the pretend sleeping yet. Everybody back in the tent. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, partners. Good, Good night, night, Cowboy Pedro. Pedro. I'm glad there aren't any wild animals out there. Oh! Wild animals! Ah! It's a wolf! Yes, it's my daddy. Oh! Mr Wolf has come to take Wendy Wolf home. All the parents are here to pick up the children. Coming in, Pedro. I want to pretend sleeping a bit more. OK. <coughs> Mummy, can I come in now? Yes, my brave little cowboy. <coughs> no, George. You can't play with the car keys. You might lose them. Car keys, Daddy. But I'm a grown up. I'm not going to lose them. Oh dear. Daddy Pig has dropped the car keys down a drain. Oh. oh. 
Right. Let's go home. Um, that might be difficult. Why? Daddy dropped the car keys down the drain. Oh, Daddy Pig! Don't worry. I'll get the keys out of the drain with a stick. Hooray! Hmm. The drain must be deeper than I thought. The stick is not long enough to reach the keys. What we need is a fishing rod. Then we can catch the keys on a hook. Maybe Miss Rabbit sells fishing rods. Uh, do you sell fishing rods? We do, actually. I don't know why. You don't get fish in the mountains. We're not fishing for fish. We're fishing for keys. My daddy dropped the car keys down the drain. Oh, you'll never get those back. That drain's really deep. What it drains for? A drain takes the rainwater away to the sea. The fishing line is not long enough to reach the keys. My goodness! How deep is this drain? We can see how deep it is by dropping a stone. Good idea, Miss Rabbit. We can count how long the stone takes to reach the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six. That is deep. Told you. What can we do now? It is Mr Pool and his friends. Digger! Crane! George loves diggers and cranes. Hello, everybody! Hello, Hello Mr. Mr Bull. Welcome to the Mountain Beauty Spot. Have you come to do some work? No! It's our day off, so we came to enjoy the beauty spot. Yeah. Oh, George! <laughs> In the world, there are two sorts of balloons. The up balloon and the down balloon. That is an up balloon. <laughs> if you let it go, it will go up and up and up, all the way to the moon. Moon. <laughs> Grandpa! Oh! <laughs> ah, got you. <laughs> Perhaps we should go indoors before we lose your balloon, George. Your balloon will be safe in here. Hello, Polly. George has got a new balloon. Oh, balloon! <laughs> Don't you pop it, Polly. George loves his balloon. <laughs> oh. George has let go of his balloon again. Don't worry, George. It won't fly away because the roof is in the way. Oh, it's gone through the door. It's going up the stairs. It's going into the attic. Don't worry. There's only one way out of the attic, and that is through the roof window, which is always kept closed. Oh, dear. The roof window is not closed. Catch it, Grandpa! I can't, Pepper. It's in the sky. George, your balloon is going to the moon. You'll never see it again. <laughs> Daddy Pig has come to take Pepper and George home. Hello. Have you had a lovely time? <laughs> um, we bought George a dinosaur <laughs> balloon. But George let it go. And it's flying to the moon! I was a little bit lonely up there, with just the moon and the stars. And the most exciting bit was... What's the most exciting bit, Grumpy Rabbit? <laughs> I can't hear you! Why has he stopped talking? Oh dear, Grumpy Rabbit has lost his voice. I had better ring Dr. Brown Bear. Dr. Brown Bear speaking. Hello, Dr. Brown Bear. Grumpy Rabbit has lost his voice. Is that such a bad thing? Yes. He's giving an important talk about space rockets to the children. Oh, in that case, I'll be straight there. <laughs> Hello, 
Grampy Rabbit. I hear you've lost your voice. <coughs> Say ah, oh, please. <coughs> I see, yes, a very serious case of losing a voice. Too much shouting, I imagine. Let's see if a little bit of medicine helps. Open wide. Try saying ah now. <coughs> Louder. That's better! <laughs> Not back to normal! They're getting there! Hooray! Now, where was I? You were just about to tell us the most exciting bit. Oh, yes! The most exciting bit was I wrote a song. Uh, would you like to hear it? No, no thank, thank you. you. Yes, please! I got up this morning and all I could see was the moon and the stars. The moon, the stars, the moon, the stars, the moon, the stars, the moon, the stars. Pedro has found a clown outfit. Who wants makeup? Me, please. What does everyone want to be? I want to be the clown. But, Peppa, where is your clown costume? OK, you be the clown. I want to be the strong man. OK, Danny, you be the strong man. I want to be the juggler. But I wanted to do that. Wow! OK, you be the juggler. Grandpa, I don't have a job to do. You can be the ringmaster, Peppa. You've got the hat for it. What's a ringmaster? The ringmaster is the boss. Yes, I'll be the ringmaster. <laughs> what do I do? You say, welcome to my suckers. See the impossible. The amazing, the incredible feats of daring do. Ooh. Uh, welcome to my circus. It's got amazing feet. Moo! <laughs> 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 Granny Pig's garden party guests are here. Hello, everyone. You're in for a treat. The circus has come to town. Now, please be very scared of the amazing candy cat. <laughs> Look at George, Richard and Edmund on tricycles! <laughs> Don't stop clapping, it's the strong Danny dog. <laughs> I was a strong man once. I used to lift tractors. <sighs> Pepper and George are playing with Pedro Pony. <laughs> they are going to jump in muddy puddles. <laughs> Pedro has slipped and lost his glasses. Hey. Where are my glasses? Without glasses, Pedro cannot see very well. Ooh. <laughs> George has found Pedro's glasses. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Silly George. Here they are. Thank you. <laughs> Pedro, why do you wear glasses? I need to. The optician says so. What's an optician? My daddy is an optician. He checks that you can see clearly. How? Does he look inside your head? <laughs> he does an eye test. Shall I give you an eye test? Yes, give me an eye test. OK. Hmm, interesting. Close one eye and say what you see. I can see George. <laughs> now close both eyes. Now I can't see anything. Hmm, can't see anything. Very, very interesting. I think you need glasses. Oh, do I? Yes. Pedro, home time. Bye-bye, <laughs> Pedro. Nay. Bye-bye. <laughs> Mummy, I need glasses. 
glasses. What? Pedro gave me an eye test and I need glasses. I'm sure your eyes are fine. No, Mummy. When I closed my eyes, I couldn't see anything. But no one can see anything with their eyes closed. Oh. What's this about needing glasses? Pedro knows all about glasses. His daddy is an optician. All right, Pepper. Let's take you to the optician for a proper eye test. Let's do lots of sounds and surprise Daddy. What a good idea. Come on, George. <laughs> Pepper and George are recording lots of different sounds. In the kitchen. In the bedroom. In the living room. In the hallway. <laughs> even in the garden. Peppa, George, Daddy will be home soon. Have you finished recording your sounds? <laughs> no, Mummy, there's just one more. Come on, George, follow me. What sound can it be? It's a very important sound. Peppa <laughs> is going into the bathroom. Flush the toilet, George. <laughs> Daddy Pig is home from work. Hello, everyone. Hello, Daddy. <laughs> I've been looking forward to playing my new synthesizer all day. Mmm. <laughs> Lovely music. It's even more lovely with the buttons, Daddy. <laughs> Play it again. All right. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> What's that? That's me. <laughs> We've made lots of silly sounds. Play it again. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny music, Daddy. Ho, oh, oh, ho. It certainly is. <laughs> Daddy Pig loves funny music. Everyone loves funny music. Don't worry, there is something we can do with daisies. We can make a daisy chain. What's a daisy chain? I'll show you. First you take a daisy and make a little hole in the stem. Take another daisy and thread it through that hole. Then make a hole in that daisy stem and thread another daisy through that hole. Look, a daisy chain. Wow! Let me try. Make a hole in the stem, thread a daisy through. This is fun! <laughs> <laughs> we can join them together to make one big daisy chain necklace. There! Now you are the daisy queen, Peppa. Yes, I am the daisy queen. Look at me, look at me! <laughs> no, George, I am the daisy queen. You need to be something else. Oh. George, you can be a lion. And these dandelions can be your mane. <laughs> George is a dandelion. Roar! <laughs> George likes being a lion. Roar! <laughs> Children, come and get your food. <laughs> Look, everyone. I am the Daisy Queen. And this is George the Lion. Roar! Ooh. And I know a trick to see if you like butter, Daddy. Really? Yes, you do like butter. Oh, oh I do. That's very clever, Pepper. Can I try? Mmm, yes. Daddy also likes eggs and tomato, cheese and cake. Wow! How do you know all that, Mummy? Because he's got bits of egg, tomato, cheese and cake all down his front. Ho, ho! <laughs> Daddy Pig loves picnics. Everybody loves picnics. Can we help you work? No, Pepper. You mustn't touch the computer. And George, you mustn't touch the computer either. 
Yes, George. You mustn't do this. Pepper, stop! <laughs> Sorry, Mummy. I was just showing George what not to do. Oh, dear. The computer is not meant to do that. Daddy Pig! Daddy Pig! What is it, Mummy Pig? Daddy Pig, can you mend the computer? Um. I'll finish the lunch while you mend the computer. Uh, right you are, Mummy Pig, but I'm not very good with these things. Oh, thank you, Daddy Pig. Daddy Pig is going to mend the computer. Mm. 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 Um, maybe if I just switch it off and then switch it on again. Daddy Pig has mended the computer. Hooray, Daddy! <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am a bit of an expert at these things. Daddy? Can we play that computer game, Happy Mrs Chicken? Maybe you should ask Mummy Pig. Mummy said that we can play it later. Well, that's OK, then. But I don't know where the disc is. George cannot throw the ball past Mummy Pig. Come on, George, give the ball to me. <laughs> <laughs> Silly George. <laughs> I can do that too. <laughs> Peppa wanted to copy George, but she's too big and has got stuck. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the ball. Pepper, now it's your turn to be piggy. George, catch. Hooray! Hooray! Got it! George, you're the piggy. <laughs> George, catch! <laughs> catch the ball, George. <laughs> catch, George. <laughs> George, catch! <laughs> Here's the ball, George. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> oh dear, Peppa, you shouldn't tease George like that. <laughs> Sorry, George. <laughs> What's all the noise? Daddy, George is too little to play Piggy in the middle. Oh, I'm sure he's big enough. No, he isn't, Daddy. Watch. Catch it, George. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> That's not fair. Yes, it is. I just gave George a helping hand. <laughs> 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 Mummy, can I have a helping hand? Of course you can, Pepper. <laughs> George. <laughs> Pepper loves catching the ball. George loves catching the ball. Everyone. Excuse me, I've got a lot of work to do. Hello? Yes? Do this, do that. No, thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> Pepper is enjoying pretending to be Mummy Pig. But George is getting a bit bored. Sorry, Daddy Pig. I'm nearly finished. There. All done. Come on, Daddy Pig. It's time you did some work. Goodbye, Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig. Goodbye. <laughs> Daddy Pig is digging in the garden. <laughs> Hello, Pepper. Hello, George. I'm not Pepper. I'm Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. Da 
Daddy Pig is here to do some work. That's very kind of you, Daddy Pig. Now be careful. It's a very deep hole. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you are not digging in your best clothes, Daddy Pig. <laughs> <laughs> to make big snorts too. <laughs> Ice cream, everyone. Ice cream? Pepper, George, you must take off those muddy clothes before you eat. I'm Mummy Pig and this is Daddy Pig. Are you sure? Yes. So, where are Pepper and George? We don't know. Oh, well, that's a shame because I've got their favourite ice cream here. But if we can't find them, then... Here we are! Pepper? <laughs> George? There you are! Yes, Mummy. We were just pretending to be you and Daddy. <laughs> you really had us fooled. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? It's a tooth. Where did that come from? <laughs> Pepper, maybe you should look in the mirror. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's my tooth. It's fallen out. Don't worry, Pepper. It's just a milk tooth. They're meant to fall out. Will I grow a new one, Mummy? Yes, you will, Pepper. It also means the Tooth Fairy will be paying you a visit. Tooth Fairy? Yes, the Tooth Fairy. If you put the tooth under your pillow tonight, the Tooth Fairy will come. The Tooth Fairy will take the tooth and in its place she will leave a shiny coin. When I grow up, I want to be a Tooth Fairy. <laughs> And what would you like to be when you grow up, George? Dinosaur. <laughs> A dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, George, it's bedtime. We don't want to miss the tooth fairy. Before going to bed, Pepper and George brush their teeth. Pepper, what are you doing? I'm brushing my tooth so it's nice and clean for the tooth fairy. <laughs> Pepper cannot wait to get into bed. Pepper is putting her tooth under the pillow for the tooth fairy. Good night, Pepper and George. <laughs> Good night, Mummy. Good night, Daddy. Good night, my little piggies. <laughs> George, I'm not going to sleep. Let's both stay awake all night and see the Tooth Fairy. <laughs> <laughs> this Tooth Fairy is very late. <sighs> the Tooth Fairy is taking a long time to arrive. Where is that Tooth Fairy? <laughs> What does the blue button do? I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> I love this new car. Can we keep it? No, we can't keep it, Pepper. We've only borrowed it for today. Oh? Oh, no. I think it's going to rain. Yes, I'll just put the roof up. Now, which is the button to close the roof? <laughs> Oops, silly me. Aha! This must be the button. Ah! The new car has squirted Daddy Pig with water. <laughs> silly Daddy, that's not the roof. This button. Oops, not that one. This button. Ah! Ah! Daddy Pig has forgotten which button closes the roof. I don't think this car likes me. Let's try the red button. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> but now it's stopped raining. Can we open the roof again? Uh, yes. Which button was it? 
The red, red one. one. Hooray! <laughs> Grandad Dog has fixed the car. Your car is fixed. Hooray! Thank you, Grandad Dog. And keep the change. Thank you, Daddy Pig. <laughs> Goodbye. 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 Bye-bye. Ah, it's good to get our old car back again. I like the new car, but I like our old car better. And I think our old car likes us too, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Pepper. I have an idea. <laughs> Mummy Pig, bring me a bucket, please. Yes, Daddy Pig. Pepper, bring me some soap. Yes, Daddy Pig. George, bring me my old tennis racket. <laughs> a bucket, some soap, a tennis racket. What is Daddy Pig doing? First, I need some water. Then the soup. <laughs> and now, the tennis racket, please. <laughs> Thank you. Now watch this. <gasps> Ooh, wow! <laughs> Daddy Pig has made his own bubble mixture. Come on, everyone! <laughs> be careful, Daddy Pig. Don't slip and fall. I'll be fine. Whoa. <laughs> Are you okay, Daddy Pig? Yes, I'm fine. <laughs> Two. Wow! Daddy Pig has made the biggest bubble ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. I've spilt all my bubble mixture. Now we can't make any more bubbles. <sighs> but we can play jumping in muddy puddles. Look! Daddy Pig's bubble mixture has made a big muddy puddle. Hooray! Peppa loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Look! The bubble mixture has made the puddle all bubbly. <laughs> Peppa loves jumping up and down in muddy, bubbly puddles. Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy, bubbly puddles. Ooh, there is something. Yes, it's a crab. Ah! The crab is pinching Grandpa Pig's finger. Oh! Ouch! Naughty Mr. Crab. <laughs> Look, George. Mr. Crab is walking sideways. <laughs> George is pretending to be a crab. <laughs> Pepper wants to be a crab too. We're naughty crabs. Pinch, pinch, pinch. <laughs> pinch, pinch, pinch. Help! There are two naughty crabs trying to pinch me. Pinch, pinch, pinch. We're naughty crabs. Pinch, pinch, pinch. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Shoo, 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 you naughty crabs. Go back to your little rock pools. Yes. Let's look in more rock pools. <laughs> What can you see? A seashell. Can you hear the sea in it? What do you mean? If you put a shell to your ear, you can hear the sea. Wow! I can hear the sea. <laughs> I love my seashell. George, can you find a seashell too? <laughs> shell! That's not a shell. Oh. Pepper's right. That's not a shell. George has found a fossil. What's a fossil? A fossil is the remains of an animal that lived long ago when there were dinosaurs. Dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Rock pools are such fun. Yes, they're fun for us. But not for this little fish. A fish? Where? Ooh. Poor little fish. She's trapped. 
I drop the seeds on the ground. Then I cover the seeds with earth. Oh, where have they gone? The seeds have disappeared. That's strange. I'm sure I put some seeds here. Yes, Grandpa. We saw you. <coughs> well, they're not here now. Oh, well. I'll just have to use some more. As I was saying, I simply drop the seeds on the ground. A little bird is eating Grandpa Pig's flower seeds. Oi! Get off my seeds! So that's where all my seeds went. Into the little bird's tummy. <laughs> Two more little birds are eating Grandpa Pig's seeds. Oh, look! Ah! Shoo, shoo! What's all this noise? Granny Pig, the birds are eating all my flower seeds. So we're chasing the birds away. There's no point chasing them. They'll just come back again. Look. We need a scarecrow. What's a scarecrow? A scarecrow is a straw man that scares birds away. What a good idea, Granny Pig. I'll make one. Come on, everyone. Bye-bye, little birds. We're going to make a scarecrow. <laughs> this is Grandpa Pig's garden shed. There'll be plenty of things in here to make a scarecrow. First, we need two sticks and some string. We'll find them. <laughs> Pepper has found some sticks. George has found some string. Good. I'll tie the sticks together to make the body. Granny Pig has found some straw and an old sack. Lovely. I'll put the straw in the sack to make the head. <laughs> now the Scarecrow needs something to wear. Here's a bag of old clothes. Ooh. 